Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. Today we're going to be discussing what happened to Curse Client. Where did it go? Well, I don't know how long Curse Client has, has actually been in this state because I haven't used it in quite a few months. But at one time when I was really playing heavy World of Warcraft, I was updating my add-ons every week. And I noticed yesterday when, it, when I went to use it, it wasn't working. So I did some information prying around and I ended up finding out what happened. So basically, Curse Client is no more. So if you have the app and you're wondering why it's not working, that's the reason being. But in this video, we're going to show you the alternative to Curse Client. And it may be for a better step in the future. So let's get started. Right here, we're looking at the Curse uh, website, but this is for something else. This is for global uh, gaming. But if we actually go to the WoW Curse Forge, or just Curse Forge, depending on the name that you're playing, we're going to see on the very top here, uh, Projects. So if we click on Projects, this is a way that you could still get your add-ons, your Curse add-ons for the game. But there's no way here of really downloading a client anymore. There's, there's, there's nothing here that says anything about upgrading or updating out-of-date add-ons, which is very important for your add-ons to work properly. If we click on one add-on, like Deadly Boss Mods, which many, many players use, we're going to see that you can still download it by the button on the top right. It's still going to have information about it. But we don't really see anything as far as, let's see if we click on files. You know, that's a little annoying. So, you know, it's not that simplified as the client was. But we could see that there's no real easy way of upgrading now or even a feature to actually do that. So how do we update our add-ons now? Basically, Curse Client got bought out by twitch as far as the add-on side of things go okay not their main business but as far as the add-on support goes and updating add-ons it's now supported by twitch which twitch also is owned now by amazon amazon bought out twitch for 900 million dollars i believe but now you're probably still thinking to yourself, can I still use a client? Because that was really convenient. It was something that was right on my desktop, and the answer is yes. So that's what download Twitch is right here that we could see in this button. Or if you actually uh, Google Curse Client, the first option, if we look right here, is going to be upgrade to the Twitch app, Curse Customer Service. You click on that, and this is the page that's going to show up. The games are going to be listed that it supports. You click on this hyperlink called Twitch app. It's going to take you to this page, and you could also download it from here. Now, I've already downloaded and installed mine, so I'm not going to do that right here. And then once you've done that, you can now see the Twitch icon right here that I'm waving around on my desktop. Now, we're going to open that up by, by clicking on it. And here we are. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, it looks like the regular Twitch to me. I can see all the game channels. Yes, and it has all that plus a little more because it's got these applications built into it that the .com just going to the website will not have at this moment. Now, you have to be logged in for this all to work. So you have to make an account for Twitch. On the very top here, we're going to notice mods. Now, this is a feature I do not see if I if I enter Twitch to watch a channel, say, via the website. I don't see this. I don't see that up there. I don't see that option. The only time I see that mod option is when I click on the desktop icon that that download gave us. So I think that's that's the difference. So now click on mods, and in here it's going to have all the games that they support, all the MMOs and the uh, add-ons so we could see that any game that you have add-ons for at the moment or you have installed in the game what is that thing okay is the ones that are lit up so for me it's world of warcraft we could see it lit up i'm going to click on that and this is a familiar list that kind of looks like the cursed client used to look like and you could see where in the middle it says status it says uh, recently updated 
up to date. It's going to let you know here if it's out of date. I did mine just yesterday, so all mine are recently updated. Now, what I like about the Twitch one, though, over the Curse one so far, is last night, I swear, I was able to hit the update all, and it automatically did it for all the add-ons that was out of date. For the Curse client, you used to have to upgrade it. So you had to pay an amount for a better version of, say, Curse client for it to update all. Now, um, you could also update each one in individually and, and all that good stuff. So this is basically now what you would use now in, in place of Curse client. I think it works great so far, and I just wanted to let the uh, player community know that this is actually how, how you get your add-ons so up to date at all times. So again, this is Wise Gamer. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to sub up, comment below, and we'll catch you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.